Want to learn about building codes for handrail continuity? Well, here are some clips from my on-demand course, IRC Chapter 3, Means of Egress, available only at buildingcodecollege.com. Now, I'm going to go a little out of the IRC order and talk about handrail continuity next. This section requires that a handrail run continuous from the nosing of the top landing to the nosing of the bottom tread. So you can see in this example, it's a little bit short of the top. Now at the bottom tread, like I say, it has to extend to the nosing, but it can terminate into a post over the top of the last tread. So when a handrail jogs around a corner like the transition we see here, it can't be built in this manner. This creates an interruption that would force you to let go and re-grab partway down the flight. It also can't have a gap in it like you see in this ramp handrail. While this, these handrails here, these rails, they work as a guard, but this would not work as a handrail. First of all, this post interrupts the handrail continuity, and truthfully, the top of that guard is not a compliant, graspable profile. So what happened? A continuous handrail had to be added after the design. Now remember, the handrail only has to be continuous for each separate stair or flight, so it can be interrupted at these posts at these landing locations. They did not have to run this handrail continuous around this post at the corner of the landing. However, as we discussed previously, if they wanted to, these fittings could be higher than 38 inches. Seriously, folks, would we really expect someone to slide their hands along this roller coaster as they turn the corner on this landing? This was a big sigh. Now, that interruption that's allowed at turns where landings are located, well, it's also allowed at posts in turns in winder treads, even though we're within one flight. So this continuous handrail looks great, but it's not required by code to be continuous at these turns. Now, at both ends of the handrail, the handrail's got to be terminated into a post or terminated in some manner, that it's not left sticking out like this, where it can catch loose clothing, purse straps, and the like. And that's one of the many problems with this hideous rail I showed before. In order to reach the nosing of the last tread, well, it extends out quite a bit, and it doesn't terminate safely. That's also what's happening at these garage steps. They need a post. In this example, the handrail returns back and into the wall. Great. And they can also terminate into volutes, turnouts, or starting ease, like you see here. And then... Well, I hope those clips were helpful to you. For the full on-demand course, go to buildingcodecollege.com and click the link to the course catalog. Scroll down the list of courses until you find IRC Chapter 3, Means of Egress. You can watch the first course video by simply clicking the thumbnail image. But for four months of 24-7 access to the full three-hour ICC-approved course, it's only $45 and a few clicks away. But you can get 10% off any enrollment at buildingcodecollege.com using the coupon code YouTube.